and um, we usually just take a piece of paper. We have a couple different types of notepads, um, and we write down fat quarter, one half, and one yard, and then we um, write just little hash marks. Um, so I need eight one yards, two half yards, and six fat quarters. So I'm going to do the one yards first because they're easier, they're quicker, uh, and I would cut one yards all day long over fat quarters. However, uh, obviously, got to cut them all. So we're going to do that first, and what we basically do is hold the fabric here or hold as here, just whichever is your preference. And honestly, I think Olivia and I both cut almost the same way, but it doesn't really matter as long as we get the job done. Um, it doesn't matter. It really honestly does not. And as long as it's accurate and quick and efficient. There's my one, two yards. Three, four. This is five and six. And here is seven and eight. Obviously though I have to cut the other side too to separate them all. But this one would have been yard number nine and I don't need that for the full yard so I'm going to lay it back down. And keep going. There are some fabrics that we can literally just run our scissors up and cut them. This happens to not be one of them. I learned that already earlier in the week when I was cutting it. Okay, so now I've got my eight one yard cuts that I need to fold. Count one more time. One, two, three, four, yep, eight. Okay. So the way we fold, a couple people asked me, they said, how do you fold it that certain way? Well, we used to not fold a certain way either. I folded one way, Olivia folded another way, whatever, made each other comfortable, we didn't really care. And then the more I grew and the bigger I got with the shop, it just became very necessary for everything to be uniform. Um, and I think that comes in from a military background too. Uniformity makes me happy, things that look the same make me happy. Uh, now, of course, you're probably looking at this and thinking, um, back here, does this look uniform and happy? No, of course it doesn't. Uh, there you can probably see several different bolts behind me, kind of stacked, and, uh, but that's because I'm in the middle of cutting two spreadsheets. Since I am triaging, I have several bolts behind me that I am cutting, uh, for that reason. And it's easier to have them all right next to me than it is keep walking back and forth um, because what we do is whenever we get new shipments we place them in one area and that's the new shipment area when we have fabric on a spreadsheet that needs to be cut it goes into one area for just its spreadsheet um, and that helps us keep organized and of course we have the shelves behind us all around the room and that's where the fabric goes once we're done cutting it on the spreadsheet. So once I get down to this last yard, I'll actually explain a little more how I'm folding. I mean, it's obvious you can kind of see it. They're all the same, but this is just how we do the one yards. It's actually how we do anything that is in an increment of one yard or like 1.5 or whatever else. Okay, so if you have your full yard laying here with the selvage at one end and the folded end at the other end, we just lay it one cut end to the other cut end. So now you have it folded like a half yard and then we do it again. So when you look at this, you should be able to count one, two, three, four and have four folds. And then it's very easy to look at a cut and see, okay, well, I've got four folds. Each of these folds is a fourth of a yard, so this is a one-yard cut. And that's really, really nice to be able to just pick something up and look at it and see what it is. So then we take it, fold it one time, 
and fold it a third time over and that's it. The really funny part is, well, funny, I don't know, whatever you, whatever word you want to use, Olivia and I can, each of us can pick up a piece of fabric and tell you exactly how many yards it is, even if it was misplaced, put in the wrong pile, so to speak. We can pick it up and say, oh, that's one yard, or that's a 1.5, or that's a 2, or that's a 3. We're almost always spot on, but that's also because we are so used to doing this. I'm going to cut my half yards now. I need two of them. So I'm going to cut one yard off of this stack. And I already cut this in because I had to cut separate those. Um, now, there are two ways to do this. The way I folded it, I can then take this fold here, bend it over, and cut up. I don't prefer to do that. I would rather have my folded edge that I need to cut over here. And so that's what I normally do. That's also because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, it wouldn't, it'd be the other way. Okay, so now I have my half yards separated. And the same thing, um, there's a uniform way to do it. I take my folded end and fold it down to my selvage end once. Then I take that new folded end, fold it down to that end again. Then I flip it over to where my cut edges meet. Bam, there's a half yard. Easy peasy. Same thing, folded edge to selvage edge, fold it one more time, then take that rectangle and fold it in half. All the half yards look like that. Okay, now I need my six fat quarters, so that's going to be 1.5 yards, actually. Um, I'm going to first cut my full yard off of it. So this will end up being four fat quarters. And because this is the way I prefer to cut it, I'm going to do that. And when I'm doing the fat quarters and the half yards, I actually just try to make sure that, again, my folded edges up here are at the same point, that my cut edges are meeting up, and that the bottom selvage edges meet up as best as they can. Another problem that we run into is that the machines that take the fabric and put them from tubes to bolts, sometimes um, the two selvage edges don't meet up. They're completely wonky or there's all kinds of wrinkles in the bolt and it makes cutting back quarters really difficult when that happens. Okay, so I just picked up my two half yards. I took my full yard, cut it into two half yards and I'm gonna lay it where I have my folded edges on one side to my right because I'm right-handed again and my selvage edges over here. And I'm literally just going to cut up the folded edge with that one, I can because it's only a single layer of fabric. With this fabric, if I want to go up the edges and it's two layers of fabric, it won't do it. Again, I said earlier I learned that earlier in the week. But that makes cutting fat quarters a lot easier. Or I can just do it like this one at a time, but it's quicker just to slide it up. Not every fabric will do that, but if it does, great. It just saved you some time. Okay, so I've got my fat quarters now, and I just have to fold them. So I separate them, fold them edge to edge. So now I have one folded edge and my two raw edges. And I just fold that again down like a half yard. And see now it does look like a half yard, same thing. Only what I want to do is fold it over one more time because then it looks like a small square. So I'm going to do it again for all of these. Fold over one end to the other, back again, just like a half yard, only I'm making one more fold. When I went to a show, actually my very first show with the fabric shop, I used to do shows as a seamstress as well, but this was my first as a fabric store. I made the uh, decision to fat quarter everything we were taking. I will never do that again. Um, I've learned that having bolts at shows is really what people want. Uh, but anyway, we were fat quartering hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bolts. And... Um, Folding it in a square like this, we discovered was really handy because it was easy to wrap a ribbon or something around that fat quarter because it's in a nice little square. And they stack really pretty together too. So, okay, there's four fat quarters, but I said I needed six. So I have to cut one more half yard off. And I'm going to have to lay it over on this case and then cut up. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Perfect. One of my uh, former students, Abby, she worked with me last summer while she was home on college break, and she actually was able to cut and fat quarter a bolt and fold it, I think it was 23 minutes. If she didn't fold them, it was less. All right. I have a note on here that says Angie, one of our beautiful mamas, gets the last one yard cut. So I'm going to make sure this is a yard. This is actually more than a yard. There's a remnant piece because the bolt was short. But I do have a mom who wants that remnant piece again, which is why I rolled it out. So I just have to measure out Angie's full yard. And then Katie will get the last piece. I'm pretty sure that was Katie Statler. She's one of our very awesome regular mamas. I get to meet her this summer, actually, which is awesome. She's going to go with me to a show. Um, Apple K Getaway. That was the first one that I ever did. And now I'm going again this summer. It's hosted by Lenny Penny. Uh, I know the owner, Lindsay Salcedo. She is a sweetheart. So very excited to get to meet Katie. Okay, so I have to measure Katie's piece now. Um, and it is actually wonky because it's the end of the bolt. So... I'm going to lay it over the edge of the zero because of that. And it measures right at 10 inches. So I'm going to write that down. Katie, 10 inches of multi. And I think she was able to get, if I remember, full pieces on the other bolts. But it was just this one that was pretty much down to the wire. They were all down to the wire, but that one was sketchy. So that's how we cut, roll out, fold, etc. Hope you enjoyed. No, it was a long video or two, but um, just a little window on how we do things. So thanks.